Well, the United States and Israel is threatening the ICC in various ways. Uh, uh, Israeli officials uh, say that uh, if the ICC does issue arrest warrants, they're going to uh, blame the Palestinian Authority and the West Bank and retaliate against them until they collapse. Uh, yeah, that's something, you know, war criminals don't do. Uh, these threats by the United States uh, Congress people and uh, by Israeli officials just prove how uh, corrupt they are. They're even going to the point of, you know, threatening the ICC to stop arrest warrants. Uh, congressmen in the United States say they are going to draft various laws and stuff against the ICC because they're worried about, you know, uh, American politicians being arrested, which they can be by the ICC and its signatories. Uh, the ICC had put out a, a notice saying that, you know, it's a crime to threaten the ICC or to uh, retaliate in any way that will impede the ICC. Well, the International Criminal Court is sending a very clear message that it should be allowed to do its work without fear or favour. The ICC prosecutor's office saying that it acknowledged a growing public interest into some of its investigations, but that any threats against the court undermines its ability uh, to operate with independence and impartiality. Now, Karim Khan, the ICC prosecutor, did not name any individuals, any countries or any leaders in this statement, keeping it quite vague. But it does come off the heels of pressure from the Israeli Prime Minister and from US lawmakers in uh, The Hague visiting the ICC, urging it not to issue arrest warrants against Israeli uh, senior military officials and, pol and uh, political officials uh, for some of the decisions made in the war in Gaza. So we are seeing a clash. It is funny how the United States and the Israeli government both claim to be about law and stuff, yet when the law is against them, they want to try to intimidate and threaten to get out of their arrest warrants. Between Israel, the United States, two countries who do not, rec do not recognize the authority of the ICC, and the court itself, and this is part of a broader international pressure, as we know, against Israel and the way it is conducting its war in Gaza, including, of course, South Africa's very high-profile case at the International Court of Justice, also in The Hague. And clearly this is becoming an issue of international importance, a collision course between the ICC, the United States and Israel, but certainly the feeling from the court. When the ICC put out an arrest warrant for uh, Putin, Biden had no issue with it whatsoever, he even supported it. Now that it's about uh, Bibi Netanyahu and other Israeli officials, the United States has an issue with the ICC. Go figure. So this isn't the first time the United States made threats against the ICC. Like some years ago, they threatened to arrest uh, ICC staffers for issuing arrest warrants court from Kareem Khan, the ICC prosecutor, is that the court should be allowed to do its job.